This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. Chicago, a mob town from way back, in a place known for its criminals. Built for the poor, they were rife with violence and a haven for the drug trade. Welcome to Chicago, a gangster city. Chicago is a gangster city, and these are the ways of its infamous housing projects. It's always been about power, and uh, if you look at it, they're basically very much like the Mafia. You know, they all have their nicknames, and it's all revolving around violence for control. Rival bangers openly battled for the right to set up shop, with cocaine and heroin as their merchandise. Many of these young people felt Hey, we're on the outside looking in. Society doesn't want to count us in. We will create our own economy underground. The police could do little to stop them. The disciples leader, Larry Hoover, cultivated a drug empire that according to the Department of Justice, at one point earned in excess of $100 million a year. A self-proclaimed student of Al Capone, Hoover modeled his organization after the Italian mob and a Fortune 500 company. In prison for murder since 1973, Hoover took the reins of the gang from behind prison walls, sending out memos with instructions to his troops on the streets. Larry Hoover was the ultimate voice. He was the chairman of the board, and he had underlings that worked for him, who had underlings that worked for them, and then each community had a boss. And these guys ran this thing like a machine. My feeling still is that he should be in prison, despite his change of living habits. There are a lot of grandfathers that have lost grandchildren because of what he did. After more than 30 years since his conviction, says he has no regrets about his years as a drug kingpin, and that given the chance, he'd do it again. 